Hey everyone! In this video, we will scrape resumes from postjobfree.com. Resumes are kind of sensitive data, so it is not easy to find a good source of resumes across the internet. Things are getting worse if you need many thousands of resumes. Postjobfree comes to the rescue. We can obtain resumes from Postjobfree in extremely large quantities. Postjobfree is popular across US users. Many users are coming from Canada as well. Postjob free is not really popular in other countries. So in this video, we will focus on US only. So we will scrape resumes having a Python developer job title. We will be using beautiful soup library for pulling data out of HTML. We will pair beautiful soup with the request library to fetch web pages via get requests. To start, we must ensure requests and beautiful soup are installed on our computer. Open the command prompt and type pip install requests to install the request library and pip install ps4 to install the beautiful soup4 library. Now we can start writing our web scraping script. Import the request library by typing import requests. We will also need to import beautiful soup class from the BS4 library. Let's define the target URL. The URL will navigate us to this web page. I am using advanced search option, so I am using the title filter. So we have 92 resumes that we need to scrape. Next, we are going to begin using the request library. We will make a get request to the URL to get content of the web page. To do this, we will create a variable called response to call requests.get method with a URL parameter. This requests the URL and returns a response object. The response object contains the server's response, which in turn includes web page content, response headers, status code, and many other attributes. Using this, we can make a beautiful soup object. First, create a variable named soup while calling beautiful soup constructor. This will create a beautiful soup object, which represents the HTML document as a nested data structure. Creating beautiful soup object requires the content of a response object. In this case, we want the HTML content of the response object we create. We also must provide a string for the name of a parser that iterates over the HTML. The HTML content is located in the content attribute of our response object, so we reference it as a response.content. As for the parser, there are a number of options available, but for this video I will be using HTML parser. Running the HTML content through beautiful soup gives us a beautiful soup object, which represents the HTML data as a nested data structure. Let's call soup.printify method to print out a formatted version of the nested data structure. When we run this, the formatted version of the nested data structure will be printed out. As you can see, HTML contains a variety of tags that make up a web page. Let's consider the highlighted tag. This tag contains a relative link to a resume page. We can extract all title tags using this simple statement. So we have a list containing 92 title tags. Here is the first tag. Each tag contains a relative link. We can treat tag as a dictionary to extract the relative link. So now we have a links variable containing all of the links we need. We can improve our code by using list comprehension. Let's iterate over a list of links. Let's request an appropriate web page for each particular link. Content variable will help us to store beautiful soup objects for each particular web page. Let's create an empty list. We will put scraped data into this list. We can extract job title using this piece of code. First of all, we need to find a parent tag. After that, we need to find child tag. Finally, we need to get text from the child tag. Here is a screenshot to make things easier to understand. 
we can extract resume text in a similar way. Here is an appropriate screenshot. So I am highlighted the tag we are interested in. So we can extract text from the tag using getText method. It is important to note that we will extract not only the resume text, but also the text from contact this candidate button. We can remove contact this candidate phrase using this simple trick. OK, so now we are ready to write our data into a CSV file. We can do this while using just six lines of code. But we also need to specify a, a delay. This delay will allow us not to make requests too frequently. Otherwise, the website will blacklist our IP. OK, we are ready to run our scraper. OK, great. Let me just show you a few screenshots from the resulting CSV file. You will find the whole CSV file on my GitHub. I will put the link into description. I hope you will test the script in other locations and with different job titles. It is the best way to master beautiful soup. Please like, subscribe and comment. See you next time.